Okay, so I just got back from my PCP. Um, I didn't see him that long. He he reiterated that he wants me to get shingles, RSV, hepatitis A and B vaccines, and he says that it's very important to get them pre-transplant. So, you know, it's like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's my fault. I didn't do it. I had a lot of other stuff going on. I didn't really want to go to CVS and argue with him about vaccinations that I'm apparently too young to get. Oh, that's, that's silent. It won't happen again. Um, he finally answered my question about the varices, about what I can do not to have them burst. And he's like, yeah, don't do vigorous exercise. Don't lift heavy weights, you know. And also, if you're tired, if you feel fatigued, don't do it. Which is okay. Cool. Um. Oh, man. He didn't remember me, and I sent all the stuff to him, and he had it, but it was just, like, in his email address. He hadn't gone over it, and he's just, like, looking at my EKG and stuff, and he's like, yeah, you're, you're in pretty good shape. I have to go back in July. So he can check up on my cholesterol. He was talking about my varices, and he's like, "This is meant to, you know, keep you from bleeding." But um, he's he says that he hepatologists are not very proactive when it comes to things like this, and he says that he will ban them for me if I want. He'll just give me an endoscopy and ban. I mean, he'll ban the esophageal ones. I doubt he's going to be able to go into the stomach. Maybe the stomach, but I doubt he could go into the spleen. So, so that's, that's, that's fine. And, you know, I know he didn't remember me, but it's only the second time I saw him. So, that's fine. You know, I just, I don't know. The positive thing, though. I've gained five pounds, um, which now means that I have to start watching my weight and not, you know, and the junk really does have to stop because the stuff I eat normally, you know, berries and my day-to-day -day stuff, cottage cheese, yogurt, it's not going to cause me to gain weight. So it's, it's positive that I can gain weight because it means that my body's healing, at least from the celiac and it means that like I'm, I'm doing okay by the cirrhosis but if I can gain weight then I need to make sure that I don't gain too much weight so so any sort of like chips or soda although I, I like I said I've been eating garbage recently and I feel it I feel it big time so I was gonna you know that's it's gonna be in moderation uh, very very moderate um, you know, and I, I don't crave them anyway because my body just feels ugh. And you know, I would go, I would go to like the the market over here by my house after work or during my lunch, and I'd go get a bag of chips, and I'd sit there and I'd buy a soda, like a Mexican Coke, and I'd sit here and I'd and I'd drink a soda and have a bag of like Cheetos or whatever because Cheetos are gluten free. And uh, you know, I did that for a couple weeks. I mean, not. For a long time, but if if I pay attention and if I listen and I'm art in it, it's like no, I can't I can't continue doing this. First of all, it's too much salt, and salt is going to give me ascites. You know, it's I'm I looked at stages of cirrhosis and apparently I'm in stage two con uh, compensated because I have uh, varices, and the next stage is decompensated, and that's when. I gotta start worrying. That's when, like, the edema and the ascites and the encephalopathy are a worry. So I don't want to go into stage three cirrhosis. I, I, you know, even if it's just very mild fibrosis. I mean, cirrhosis. Even if it's only a little bit of fibrosis on the liver, it's still something to worry about. So, um, you know, this week I've been doing really well with my eating. With, keeping up with the produce especially and uh and the protein you know and I mostly get my protein from dairy but like I'll have um you know some chicken what well, you know um 
every so often, like once a month, maybe we'll go to In-N-Out and I'll get a, a hamburger protein style, which is the, where it's just the, the burger and the cheese wrapped in lettuce. That's pretty good. I can get that from Five Guys too. Sometimes I'll do that instead of In-N-Out because I like Five Guys fries better. But again, in moderation. So I weigh 155 pounds. Which, you know, okay, you know, it's, it's, I, I don't, I don't want to gain anymore, but the fact that I can gain is, it, it means I'm doing something right. May, maybe my intestines are healing from the celiac, maybe I'm getting my nutrients now, which would be ideal. One of the things the doctor said to me, and I, and I understood what he was saying, he said, I like to get in early, you know, and I was like, well. I'm afraid it's not very early for me. And he said, I like to get in early. And I was like, well, I, I, the past is the past. There was never any indication until there was, you know, like we can, we can, we can, I will take all the blame. I didn't go to the doctor during the pandemic. I didn't have a job. And when I did have a job for like the last nine months of the pandemic, I didn't go. It's on me. I didn't go until October of last year. So, it's all my fault. I'm I'm not denying it. But we can't do anything about that. So, let's just move on from here. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I presented you. I'm presenting you with this really fuck with this messed up case. You know? But he he wants me to get um the photographs of my CT. He wants to look at the varices. And yeah, I mean, if, if if he really thinks that banding is a good idea, then yeah, I'll get him banded. But the, I don't imagine they're that big. But yeah, I mean, he is my he is my doctor, so you know. I'm just so emotionally drained. My brother called me today and my dad's really not doing well and my mother's just overwhelmed and they want to talk to me and it's like and I said this to him and you know you, I said you know all my life I've been expected to show up for them and I did but they would never show up for me and it's like and this time yeah I'm not I'm not as close as he is but I am dying I am. Like, being under treatment, I'm still dying. My, if, if I didn't do anything more from today, I would be dead before, you know, 10 to 12 years. So, I mean, that's a long time. It's not long enough for me. But, it's like, even even when I'm really sick, it's not good enough. I still have to do for him. And I know like this is the end. And it's and it's selfish of me to think this way. I should just call and just say goodbye. And I will. I absolutely will. I'm not gonna be that person. But I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair for them not to give a shit about me and then expect me to give a shit about every little thing that happens with them. And it's always been that way. And I told that to my brother and I, I, I tried to express to him, like, I'm not mad at you. You were a kid too. It's not your fault. It's not your problem. You didn't, you know, like, yeah, you were mean to me, but you were mean to me like a big brother's mean to me. That's not the same thing as a dad screaming at you for no reason all the time. Because he didn't want you around. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go take a shower and just and you know, just I want this day to be over. Work went a little smoother. I have like ten seconds, so that that's good. Um, but thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.